guys, my name is Doug with Infotainment.com. Today we're on the 2014 through 2015 Chevy Corvette. Um, this particular vehicle has the um, GPS navigation feature. Some people do not have GPS nav, you have OnStar nav. Uh, we carry upgrades for those folks. Uh, but today what we want to show you guys is how easy it is to upgrade to the unit with built-in Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Okay, so basically what we're going to show you guys today, you have to replace your HMI module. This is going to be installed um, just above the, the driver's side kick panel here, and I'll show you guys how to do that. If you don't already have GPS nav, um, you will need to add a GPS antenna, which installs just underneath the dash top up here. The other thing you'll need to do is swap out your ACM, your radio brain module. This module is located on the passenger side floorboard. Um, I'll show you guys that as well. And then last but not least is the re, um, replacement USB media hub. This is the one that goes in your armrest. This one is fully compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So real quick rundown again, in the 2014 and 2015 Corvettes, um, this particular one has an IO6 option code with the nav. If you have the IO5 option code, which has the OnStar nav, and you want the IO6 nav, uh, we do sell that as well. But in this particular case, in this Corvette, we are doing the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto upgrade. All right, the first thing we're going to want to do is replace the HMI module. Okay, now like I mentioned, it is behind this kick panel here, or right above it rather. You'll notice it right there, it has all those different color connectors. Basically what you have to do is just disconnect all those connectors, and then there's going to be a tab on each side of the HMI that you need to push back, and then the whole thing slides out of the tray. Alright, once you push those two tabs in, while you're pushing those tabs in, you're going to be pulling down on the HMI. It's kind of tricky to get your hands in there, but if you kind of scoot it down a little bit at a time, basically you just have to push those tabs in and pull it down, and eventually it'll come loose, and then you can weasel it on its way out. All right, this is the one we pulled out here. Um, this particular vehicle did have GPS navigation. You'll notice because it has the little blue plug, You'll also notice because the antenna is pre-wired. Um, now, those of you who do not have GPS navigation, you will need to install uh, a GPS antenna that we will include once we decode your VIN. Um, this little GPS antenna can really go anywhere just under the dash top, under the windshield. Uh, typically, the left front speaker on the dash, usually that little grill pops up. We kind of tuck this antenna in there, route the blue connector down into here, to plug it into the replacement HMI module. But in this case, as I mentioned, this vehicle already had GPS, so the antenna won't be needed. Um, we could just set this aside, and we're going to um, install this unit in the exact same fashion as we took out the original one. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Alright, some of you may opt to remove this rocker panel cover here. You don't necessarily have to. All we want to do is just get back here and be able to kind of weasel the carpet out. Just to give us access to the screws on this metal bracket here. All right, what we need to remove here is the four 7mm screws here. There's a 9mm screw at the top, and then two 9mm uh, nuts on the bottom here. Alright, basically what you're going to want to do is just kind of shimmy this bracket out and set it aside. Alright guys, the next part of the uh, process here is, this is your vehicle's computer, the BCM. Uh, you can easily remove it, there's a little tab right here on the uh, right side, just press it back kind of just pops down. Now rather than disassembling this entire bracket here, this plastic bracket that goes around here, 
Um, I found it easiest to remove the ACM. You can kind of weasel the way out. So you, this whole bracket system here is just very loose. So what I found is if you kind of get behind it and move it around a little bit, then up here where my thumb is, just kind of press it up here, it'll pop out. And then you can just disconnect the connectors and slide it out on the left side here. All right, we have it out. So basically what we're gonna do is install the replacement in the exact same location as we just pulled this one up from. All right, now that we got it back in its position, we can go ahead and install or reinstall the body control module. Now we can put our metal bracket back on and now we can um, put the carpet back over it. All right, the last step is just replacing the media hub with the one that we include with our kit. So basically on both sides right here and here are these little tabs which kind of hold it in place. So once you free the left side, you can kind of wiggle it out on the right or it just sometimes will just pop right out. So what you're gonna wanna do is just pull this out. Disconnect the connectors that are in the back of it. You can set this hub aside, you will no longer need it. Then you're just gonna plug the exact same plugs into the replacement media hub. All right guys, now that we have everything buttoned up and back in its place, let's go ahead and start it up and check it out. All right, right away, the first thing you'll probably notice is the projection icon. This has to do with um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So, um, I'll explain that just in a minute. Those of you already know how the audio works. You have AM, FM, um, and satellite radio. The phone, uh, you will have to repair your phone once you upgrade. So you select phone and then pair your phone. Uh, those of you who opted for the navigation one, you will get full GPS navigation here. You notice also the green lining. Um, that has to do with serious traffic. Uh, which I'll get into in a minute. But having the, um, the factory GPS navigation is awesome. Remember too guys, all these parts are pre-programmed by infotainment.com. They are all programmed to your VIN, um, so they make it 100% plug and play. Within the settings menu, you can come in here and change things. Um, one thing that people do ask a lot is the driving mode do you retain driving mode you certainly do um, i think it automatically comes on the auto um, you can come in here and change it here but if you come down here to the mode selector you know whatever you whatever you change your um your setting to here will mimic it if you as long as you keep it in the auto mode uh the same for steering as well so you do retain that uh, when upgrading. Um, this is uh, the weather. This has this goes through um, Sirius. It's a subscription-based service. Um, obviously, your PDR. You retain that. Uh, remember, behind your glove box is where your SD card is um, entered, and then you can start recording. You can see recorded sessions, so on and so forth, right here through PDR. So you do retain that 100%. SMS text will retain that as well for those of you who don't have it. OnStar, uh, serious traffic, which I was explaining, it'll actually reroute you around congestion. Um, this is all through serious traffic. Those of you who subscribe to that through Sirius uh, will get this as part of that subscription. And then the last one is shop. Uh, most of you won't have anything to do with shop because your vehicle does not have the built-in LTE coverage. So anyways, um, let's go ahead and plug in our smartphone here and show you guys Apple CarPlay. 
So plug our phone in, we will allow it. And as soon as you do, you notice Apple CarPlay will show up where projection used to be. Now you have 100% Chevrolet, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible system here, okay? Awesome system, guys. It's very, very safe, um, most importantly. Um, through the phone, you can make receive phone calls. Um, the Apple Music icon allows the people who have a subscription to Apple Music the ability to listen to their streaming uh, songs. Uh, within the maps here, this will take you right home. Great thing about this, maps are updated automatically, so you're always going to have latest and greatest. Messages, that's one of the best features. When you're driving and someone texts you, you'll get a notification that'll show up on your screen. You press it and it'll actually read the text message to you and then it gives you the option to respond to it. Now playing, I'll get to in a minute. Podcast, those of you who have long drives, love listening to podcasts, it's great to have it right here in CarPlay. Audiobooks, at bat for those MLB fans. Um... A whole bunch of different types of apps you can get for this, guys. These are all coming from your smartphone. So if you go to the Apple CarPlay um, webpage online, they'll tell you all the different apps you can load. Um, one of my personal favorites is Waze. Uh, this is great because it tells you if there's cops in the area, stuff like that, construction or broken down cars. Um, great system here. Uh, you could tell it where you want to go or you can type in whatever you want. So that works out really, really well as something else to be added. Sirius XM, you can download the Sirius XM app and listen to Sirius XM through your phone. That's what that app is for. Spotify, for those of you who love Spotify or Pandora, you just get access to all of it right here on your screen. Uh, those of you who don't like the Apple Maps, you like the Google Maps. So me personally, I love the Google Maps as well. Uh, and it works just just as well as the Waze does. Um, so you get that right there on your touchscreen display. Just an awesome system. If you press and hold this, cancel. That is actually Siri. So if you want to ask Siri a question or whatever, you can just press and hold that. Um, so just an awesome system here, guys. We carry stuff not just for the Corvette. We do all the Chevy trucks, Ford, GM, uh, Toyota, Nissan here at infotainment.com. Remember, guys, these are all pre-programmed for a plug-and-play installation. To come to your door, you can put it in yourself within an hour. So come check us out, guys, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.